Hi everyone, welcome to episode six. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. We're we're the end of a whole season. So I get a little anxious sometimes during the show. And the reason why I get anxious is I'm so worried that I'm gonna mispronounce a guest's name. I have done it. Sorry, Don. Today, hopefully it won't happen. I'm really happy to introduce a guest who so far I've only met on Facebook. Uh, so it's gonna be like up close and personal. His name is Desmond Devnich. So Desmond, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely, it's a pleasure. Thanks so much, Nancy. Why are you so tall? <laughs> That's an excellent question. We haven't quite sorted that out yet. Oh, okay, because I feel like I need a, oh no, you're, you were gonna say that to me earlier. You said I needed a booster seat. I know, I know, that was mean of me, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I forgot, I forgot to bring my notes, from your bio. Oh, so we're who needs just, a bio? Well, I, really? I would love your bio, by the way. Oh, uh, but I won't well. know which questions to ask you, so you're just going to have to come up with the, the uh, answers without the questions. Okay. <laughs> How about a little improv, Nancy? Okay. Well, um, I have the pleasure of working for the Chilliwack Chiefs Hockey Club right now. Um, I develop new fan experiences and uh, try to find ways that uh, non-hockey fans like myself mm -hmm. can go to a game and enjoy it. So that's through promotions, it's through games, it's through entertainment. Um, and really bringing together a really fun, family-friendly environment. So what the entertainment mean, mean during the break, the yeah, whatever? Yeah, every stoppage in play, uh, whether it's music, a game, uh, some sort of uh, interactive activity for a group of fans to participate in. Can you give mm -hmm. us an example of what you brought in? Oh, for sure. So we have live bands on most Fridays and Saturday nights, right. um, as well as some Sundays. And so that uh, provides great, it's a feature of local entertainment um, from our Chilliwack community, which I love. And uh, it's great to see um, the arts community partnering with the sports community uh, oh. to benefit each other. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So how did you get involved with the Chiefs to begin with? You know, they came to me. I'm real blessed to have, yeah. um, you know, some great fans and our friends in our community. and. Uh, Barry Douglas and Andrea Laycock uh, reached out to me and uh, invited me to come join the team and I thought what a cool opportunity it's something I've never been a part of before um, had very little experience in sports and uh, so to have that opportunity to learn mm -hmm. to try something new right. and uh, hopefully put my own little spin on it yeah uh, it's been it's a real blessing I know also know I remember reading in your bio that you're quite involved in the community in other ways such as? Mm -hmm, absolutely. So um, right now, you know, I'm on a bit of a, a break right now to uh, take some time to focus on uh, developing myself, but and uh, really focusing on my work as well. Um, but in the previous years, um, you know, I've had a great opportunity. I spent seven years on the Chilliwack and District Agricultural Society. Doing? Um, I was the vice president mm -hmm. uh, of the board of directors, and so we organized the Chilliwack Fair. Right. Um, and I, it's an amazing celebration of agriculture and heritage and art in our community and uh, so it was a real blessing to be a part of that yeah. and uh, I look forward to it I still attend the AGM and many of the meetings of course to support uh, the new executive right. and uh, offer any advice that I may have um, again just like in hockey um, I knew nothing about farming and <laughs> when they asked me to be a part of the organization I said what on earth could I contribute and uh, so to have that opportunity to learn mm -hmm. and uh, to really reach out to a lot of people that I could learn from right. and get to know them. Um, it helped me in my experience and to be able to bring something to that event. So when you talk about that, you're talking about the fairs that they put on at the, the Heritage Park. That's right, yeah, so, every August. So we, so we've, our paths have crossed again. Because I know. I used to be part of that. I used to volunteer to be uh, the security, on ground security. Okay, very cool. Now you said you want to take time to develop yourself. Yeah. What does yeah. that mean? What does that mean? Um, it means that I wanted to, I started really early. I had a really amazing opportunity um, when I was in university and that was to join the Downtown Business Improvement Association. Okay. And so I went, in the middle of my studies, I went into full-time work. And I loved it. The work, that on-site experience mm -hmm. wouldn't replace it, right? right. It's, it's, irre it's irreplaceable. But I didn't, I rushed too fast. And so now, I'm okay. taking I'm taking a little time to uh, get back to studies again. Right. Um, you know, uh, making sure that I'm doing what I want to be doing, and uh, so that's been a really good experience actually um, to really learn how to stay at home more, not oh, okay. always be out. Okay. Um, learning how to uh, you know be more humble, be more kind, and find other opportunities to serve. 
yeah. Oh, that's yeah. really nice. Yeah. So, um, you know, we'll, before we continue on, we're going to have a short break. Okay. okay. So uh, sit. All right. I keep telling people that sit. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I don't mean to treat you like a dog. <laughs> I don't mean that. I apologize. <laughs> I'll stay put. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Stay tuned. As promised, we're back. So Desmond, I want to ask you about your personal life in that. Like, Ooh, personal. <laughs> All oh, right. How personal can I get? Are you from Chilliwack? Originally? I sure am. So I was born in Lacombe, Alberta, um, but I moved here when I was real young. And so Chilliwack is my home. Absolutely. I love its people. Um, I love to shop downtown, eat downtown. I live downtown also just around the corner. And uh, it's, it's a great community to grow up in and uh, to have been able to work in as well. Oh, cool. So do you have siblings? I do. I have a younger sister. Mm -hmm. uh, she works in veterinary medicine. <gasps> and, oh, how cool is that? Uh, yeah. And I'm oh. so proud of her. Uh, she, you know, we, we had our struggles of course as kids do as we grew up yeah but you know we've worked through all of that and yeah. uh, it's been a really fun relationship to have so we're three years apart yeah and uh, I love that she still lives in Chilliwack as well now you mentioned the first half that you got in getting back to studying mm -hmm. what are you studying mm -hmm. media and communications Medi well, of, yeah. course. of course right it's a degree that I can apply to anywhere I go and so that was really important to me is especially when I was younger I didn't know what I wanted to do when I grow up I still don't right and so for me it's really important to study things that I can apply in very in various methods yeah so that's why I like to get involved in various things because it allows me to try things out yeah. and see if I like them or not and learn more about that industry yeah absolutely now I know you've been involved in helping with um, fundraising for mm -hmm. nonprofit mm -hmm. you want to talk about that a little bit absolutely so I have a real heart for uh, uh, those in our community that uh, aren't as privileged as I have been mm -hmm. and so it's really important to me um, that we raise the dollars and fund the programs and services that will have the greatest uh, impact in our right. community. Um, so Chilliwack Community Services, <clears throat> excuse me, I was a part of their uh, fundraising committee for a number of years and uh, it's an organization that uh, from seniors to youth to uh, families, immigrants, uh, they serve every facet of our community and so I, I just love the work that they do and so I wanted to support that wherever I could and uh, I encourage everyone to do the same of course. Um, Another organization that I've been blessed to be a part of in previous years was Chilliwack Hospice Society. Uh, Councillor Sue Attrell is a good friend of mine right. and uh, even prior to her joining the team at Chilliwack Hospice, um, the work that they do to support those that are grieving, yeah. uh, it's, it's so important, um, especially um, you know the Horse Whisperer Camp and such that support little kids um, as they're grieving the loss of a parent perhaps. Mm -hmm. um, it's work in the community that yeah. must be done and uh, to take care of one another and and it's work like that that only encourages me and you know to do more yeah. right to give yeah. back more because I'm inspired by those types of people that mm -hmm. give of their time and their energy yes. to give to other people now let's switch the topics okay I like to switch things All right, around switch it up. okay so um, you you Ex execute events and promotion and promotions or something mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. Am I reading this? I mm -hmm. can't read my own writing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So back before the break, we were talking about uh, the downtown BIA, and so I had the privilege of uh, for a few years of coordinating the annual Santa Claus parade, uh, ah, party in the park, wow, the yeah. Village Classic Car Show, and right. a number of other really fun family-friendly events in the community. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still a passion of mine, and so um, I volunteer and help out wherever I can now, and uh, offer them my support wherever I can um, from that knowledge that I acquired um, by working with individuals like Kathy Funk at the downtown BIA at the time and now Kyle Williams the director there uh, it's really important that we do as much as we can to bring the people together uh, I, I love that asset or aspect of community events is if the more we can do especially downtown to create that positive energy to create that light mm -hmm. um, to add to the uh, vibrancy of the community. And it's really exciting to see what they're doing uh, down at y uh, Young and Princess now right. uh, with the Alga Brothers development. Um, I'm really inspired to see what's going to happen the next five years downtown. So it seems to me that your whole life is about giving or helping or 
whatever. What do you do for you? Ooh, you know, and so we, we reference that it's finding new opportunities for me because I often forget to take care of me. Yeah. And, and it's, it's self care is so important. Yeah. Uh, so for me, uh, music. Music is so healing. Um, I love to attend shows. Mm -hmm. I love to be in a show. I love to listen to music quietly, and I love to listen to it as a group in a concert style. Yeah. Right. Um, it's so music is really important to me, and it always has been. And does it matter what what kind of music? No, no. So uh, I love country. I studied Broadway at the Chilliwack Academy of Music. All right. um, I love rock and roll, and I listen to pop. I also listen to jazz, uh, so it's, uh, yeah, very diverse, I think. Yeah, right. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. Well, unfortunately, you know, Desmond, we're out of time. Already? I know. It feels I so know. short. I know, I think, is that a reference to my height? <laughs> <laughs> Just say that, you know? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's been a real, real pleasure. I'm so glad that you came on, and maybe you'll come again. Absolutely. In the future. I would love to, Nancy. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. It's been great catching up with you. Awesome. Thank you very much. And thank you. Hope to see you next season. Peace out.